Hey drummers, how's it going? It's Alex once again, bringing some more fun free drumming ideas. For this week's lesson, we've got an absolute beauty. I'm not gonna beat about the bush. We've straight up stolen that little ride slash cowbell pattern from the Steve Gadd Mozambique funk little groove. They're right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, etc. Um, and we're gonna sort of like play around with it a tiny bit, get some accents popping on the left hand, and uh, sort of basically palm it off as our own. Um, it's a great sounding groove, really fun to play, and it's got a lot of mileage when you start orchestrating around the kit. So, if you like what you saw in the intro and you want to get this bad boy a crack, stick around and I'll break it down. Here we go. Alright, so first things first, what we're going to do is we're going to learn the hand pattern. Um, we're not going to necessarily isolate what the right hand's doing, we're going to bring in the left hand straight away. Just note that the left hand is always playing ghost notes, just so we can get that right hand to pop out. And I'm playing the right hand quite loud. We'll start off on the bell of the right, yeah let's do that. Like I said, ghost notes of all left hand. If we strip it back, it's just 16th notes straight all the way through. You can sort of play it as one bar, or you can sort of like transpose it and we'll just, you know, play it as like quarter notes and eighth notes and it will spread across two bars. But by the time we've done four kicks, we'd have gone through the pattern, so we're going to treat it as one bar. So playing a 16th notes, we're going to play. Let's just look at beats one and two first, and we're going to get all loud rights, quiet lefts, right, left, right, left. So that's beat one. One, E, and, uh. And then we're going to go... Two, E, and, uh. So like a bit of a reverse parody there at the end. Let's play on the hi-hat, it's a bit of a dry sound. Right, left, right, left. Right, right, left, right. And that'll give us one, E, and, uh, two, E, and, uh. One, E, and, uh, two, E, and, uh. Play it on the floor time, sounds quite cool. Okay, that's just beats one and two. Beats three and four, we're then gonna start off with the left hand. So the left hand's always gonna be on the downbeat of beat three. And what we're going to do is we're going to go a little ghosty, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right. So you've got this like little three note pattern, left, right, right, left, right, right, and then we finish with a left, right. But of course, when we finish with that, that other right hand, as we go around to play or to loop the pattern, it's going to feel like another double. So if we go through beats one and two, little gap, beats three and four, little gap, and then we'll loop it round and you'll see how it all slots together. So here we go, beats one and two. One E and a, uh, two E and a, uh. beat three and four. Three E and a, uh, four E and a. Uh. If I now loop that round, we get one E and a, uh, two E and a, uh, three E and a, uh, four E and a, uh, one E and a, uh, two E and a, uh, three E and a, uh, four E and a. Uh. Now I'm going to move over to the right side. We'll play a tiny bit faster. So you get this. Okay, and you know it's my left hand, just like little tiny taps for now. Sounds great on the floor time like we did earlier. Right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right. Now, what I would do at this point is just so we can sort of like put a nice little anchor down on the very start of the beat. That way, every time we've done a loop, we know exactly where we are, and it's gonna be on beat one. So we're gonna be right hand and bass drum for the first note. Right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, right. Count it out and slow it down. One E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a one E and two E and a three E and a four E and a one. Was that last one right? I think so. I was too busy concentrating on trying to say it. But that was pretty much it. What we do is we pop up there and um, I'll just play a couple of different speeds so you can sort of see it from you know a different angle. So here we go. <coughs> nice and slow. And a bit faster this time, we'll go on the floor, Tom. Nice. 
All right, so now we're going to move on to phase two. If you consider what we've done as phase one, which would make sense, that's all just about establishing the hand pattern, getting that down, right hand nice and loud, left hand nice and quiet. The next thing we're going to do is we're then going to get the feet sort of walking underneath it. So with our feet, we can playing one and two and three and four. And so bass drum is always going to be on the downbeat and then um, your hi-hat step is going to be on the upbeat of the end of each beat. Now, most of them, in fact, all of them, apart from beat three, um, your bass drum is going to land with your right hand, which is quite nice. And obviously, like you'll see in the uh, transcription, which should be coming up now, if I've done my job correctly. Um, the only tricky one is going to be on beat three, where we've got to get that ghost note landing with the kick. So let's go through it nice and slowly. I'll start off by just playing the feet for like one bar. So one and two and three and four and. That's what you're after next. Of course, you can speed it up and it's going to start coming to life a little bit more. And you can start feeling the interplay between the pulse that and that bum 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 and it starts sounding quite cool. So that's all there is to phase two. It's keeping the left hand still nice and quiet, just getting that, you know, the um, the sticking down between like your your feet doing that walking pattern and then your right hand sort of like bringing out that nice little Da 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 well, it sounds like Morse code, but it sounds great. Again, I think the best thing to do is if I just pop up there, I'll play it nice and slow, then up to tempo, and you'll see as we start bringing up the tempo a little bit, this little pattern here starts to come to life a bit more. So um, let's pop up there, here we go. All right, nice and slow, let's start with the feet. Three. Like I said, bass drums always land with the right hand. Um, just go through it beat by beat. The only tricky one is the up, uh, no, beat three, because I've just got the, uh, the right hand on the up uh, beat three, leading into that little ghost note with the kick. Let's try the same thing again, but a little bit quicker. So, one, two, three, four. Uh, next up, let's move that same pan to the floor, Tom. Sounds great there as well. We go one, two, three, four. Nice. And if you wanted to, you could do the same thing with the hi hat, but obviously, just leave out that left foot so you get this. That sounds pretty sweet as well. Obviously, I'm just playing on beat one, beat two, beat three, and four um, with the kick. All right, so now we're going to move on to phase three. We've got the, um, the hand pattern down. We've now added the feet doing that, boom, ch boom, ch and kind of got that four on the floor. And we've got that nice little bit of interplay between the pattern on the right hand and then, you know, just the boom, 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 boom. It sounds cool. The next thing we're going to do is going to get some um, left hands to pop out. And the ones we're going to start off with are going to be on the tail end of the groove. And I'm just trying to think off the top of my head of where they are. It's the up of three and the and of four. That is right, yeah, it is. It's the up of three and the and of four. So if we go through our pattern, it's going to be right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, right. So basically, once you do that little, like when you get to the second half and you've got that right, right, left, right, right, left, it's those two lefts that we're going to get to pop. So let's bring the feet in. Uh, let's go nice and slow. Let's dry it up. Let's use the rim of the high tom. One and a two and a three and a four and a one. 
I hope that I got it across. That's kind of the way I like to go with it. Speed it up a little bit. It's where it feels more comfortable for me. So, feet first, three, four. That sounds cool. Again, you can bring it up to the hi-hat, just get a... Okay, that, I love it there, it sounds really sweet there. Um, another little accent you can get to pop out is you can get like a B3 itself. So you get this ba 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 at the end, so that would sound like... So it'd be right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left. So you've got that... Well, it's on beat three, the up beat three, and then the and beat four. So it's, it's separated by three sixteenth notes each time. And that will sound like slowish. Struggling to play it slow, but that's the one where you're going to get obviously the snare drum and the kick drum landing at the same time on beat three. Another little left hand I like to pop is the up of beat one. So, right again. I tend to always keep that um, the up of three and the and of four in there. That sounds great, or sometimes just the up of three and the up of one. Okay, you've got so many options. Once you get sort of like used to playing around with just getting some of these little left hand notes, nothing changes. You're always playing right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, left, right, right, as you go back around. So it's key that you have that internalized, but then you can start picking out some of these extra notes. Another thing that I love to do with this is just to play like a variation of those accents, but just keep my left hand up on the high top. This sounds nice. In fact, I think what we do, because we've pretty much gone over the whole concept of getting the hand pattern down, adding the feet, and then playing around with some accents and some different voices. We've been kind of doing that as we go. Let's just pop up there. I'm gonna play similar sort of groove just between the ride and um, the snare. And then I can move my right hand down to the floor tom. Then let's get the right hand back up to the ride and then we'll just play all the notes on the, on the high tom as well. And maybe sort of, you know, play around with going from high tom to, to floor tom. And that would sound pretty sweet. So I'll just go up there and I'm gonna start jamming some ideas and uh, then I'll come and say goodbye. So here we go. All right, so there it is. I hope you enjoyed that lesson. It's a real fun one to play. I'm still having a lot of fun sort of learning it and trying to get comfortable playing it, but I thought it'd be a great one to share with you guys as well. Um, if you want the sheet music, we're having a bit of problem at the moment exporting it, so that's why I'm making a conscious effort to make sure that every time I'm explaining something, you know, you'll see it down underneath. So the best thing to do is probably just watch the video and just sort of take note of the sheet music underneath um, until I get this little gremlin at the system and everything back to normal. Um, if you did like the video, please give it a like, that really helps. Um, if you're new to the channel, it'd be great for you to subscribe and then obviously click that little bell and you'll be notified every time a new lesson comes off. Comes on, not comes off. Um, also, if um, you want to dive a little bit deeper into my lessons, you enjoy what we're doing over here, there's also my website where you can sign up as a sponsor and it works out about a pound a lesson, it's five pounds a month, or you can sign up for the whole year for 50 quid and uh, save yourself a couple of months. And um, just every penny helps. And uh, I really like doing it, so... Um, 
Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you again fairly soon for some more fun food drumming ideas. And in the meantime, take care, keep drumming, and all that lovely stuff. So, uh, done. See you later. Bye.